guys, what's up? It's Sienna. Today we have a bit of a new video because I'm currently in my final weeks at Oxford, which we're just not gonna talk about. I'm realizing that as of this summer, I am now a college senior. With being a senior comes the impending doom of having to apply for post-grad jobs. So, <laughs> your girl <laughs> is realizing that and wanting to get on it early. I know a lot of you guys are in the same boat or applying for internships or just all around wanting to be more put together. And something I've been wanting to do for a really long time now actually is make a like personal website and portfolio because I kind of have like YouTuber Sienna and then I also have businesswoman career Sienna and I've been treating them like they're separate but I'm realizing that YouTube self and businesswoman self very much go together. Um, YouTube is my business and in marketing myself and preparing myself for the job market I really want to be able to put my best foot forward and summarize kind of what I've done. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make your personal portfolio website and really showcase what you've done even if you feel like you haven't done that much just creating a website about yourself and linking like your resume and a bunch of other stuff it can also just help you get in the mindset of hey i've actually done some pretty cool stuff so we're gonna do that today this video is sponsored by wix so thank you so much wix and i'm really excited to use them to show you guys how to make a website so let's get into it okay so first we have what kind of website this should be. We're just gonna go click on portfolio CV and then we're gonna go and create it with the editor. Okay, so we're gonna go to personal portfolios. I'm gonna scroll down and you can view which ones that you're interested in. Oh, I like the look of this one. The font, it's very like clean and minimal. So I think I might go with this one. So we're gonna click edit. It's gonna take us to the editor. So first thing is you get basically the editor pops up. So we can go ahead and drag things, change fonts and everything. So we're gonna go ahead and do that first. So I don't really like the two pictures. I kind of just think I want the one. I'm gonna go ahead and delete that column. Okay, so now we just have the one picture. And this is a button. So we don't want a button. We're gonna go ahead and add text instead. So my name, so we're gonna go add. And then the text, we're gonna add the heading. And then put in Sienna like that. And then we're gonna make it bit bigger and a bit more spaced out I think I like the character spacing like that let's try that one and then we're gonna go ahead and make it white because I like white text that's a good font okay I like that and then the background we're gonna do change background so I'm going to do a picture of me use this one just for now and then I don't like how it fills the entire screen so we're gonna go ahead and do stretched yes so it's stretched to fit the page and then we want the margins to be maybe about that and we don't want the picture to be super big so we're gonna just pull that up a little bit like that not as long as the screen is right now so I like that now we're gonna go up here and we're gonna change this bit text also, I'm going to put as Sienna in big capitals. Okay, so this is what the header looks like, and then we're just going to center that there. Now we're going to go and create the rest of it. So I really like how it looks, and it's really like clean, but I'm not really going to do a blog, so we're going to go ahead and change that. If we go to zoom out, you can reorder the posts and what they look like. Um, so I really like this follow me. I'm probably gonna keep that. This one, I don't really need shop the look and that one I don't really need. So we're gonna go ahead and delete that. And we're gonna delete these ones too. Great, okay. So now we're gonna exit and then we are going to add a new strip. If we go into add, there's strips and then here we have about. So. This one has like two photos. I could do that one, that's kind of fun. Or there's this one, which is very minimalistic. Yeah, I think I like that one. Okay, now I'm gonna do this, add my title. Let's do about Sienna. Okay, so this is my bio. So I'm gonna go ahead and take my bio and copy and paste it. Ooh, okay, that's quite big. Um, so we're gonna do 
do this. I want to change this picture too. So let's go in and put in a cool different photo. Let's put in this one, this one's cool. Yeah, I like that. And then oh, for this column, we want it to be consistent. So we're gonna do a none, consistent with the background, beautiful. We're gonna crop the image so that it's a bit more immediate like this. So we're gonna drag it how we exactly want it. Okay, so the picture, I want it to be maybe about there. Maybe a bit more on this side. There we go, okay, I think I like that. Beautiful, okay, so now we have the follow me. Follow Sienna. We know how to spell our own name, yes we do, okay. And then for this, settings, let's see, Instagram feed. Oh, connect your Instagram, there we go, beautiful, okay. So it shows up, there's my Instagram. Uh, I don't really like how there's like some bigger photos and some smaller photos. I think I kind of want one consistent grid. So it says that we can customize, beautiful. I think I want the grid, but with, let's do five images per row and three rows maybe. That's kind of fun, okay. Um, or maybe I want more, six. That looks cool, okay, I like that. Okay, so now you have a little preview of my Instagram. I wanna be able to link to some of the brands that I've worked with and have a little, you know, kind of as seen on type of thing, but with brands. So I'm gonna go ahead and do add. So we're just gonna do like that. And we're gonna add a title, text, heading. Maybe let's call this brand. Okay, so for brands, we're gonna head change to background. We're gonna do the same color as the rest of it. We're gonna do add image. So, so I'm gonna go ahead and select all of these different ones. Okay, now we're just gonna keep resizing this. That is looking pretty good. I like that, how that is looking. Okay, so this is looking pretty good. So now it's time to work on the other pages in the menu. Okay, so we're gonna rename shop and we're gonna name it probably, let's do press. We're gonna have contact, which links to the bottom. Um, about will go up top, perfect home, about press, resume, contact, and then all of my socials. Wonderful, okay, let's go to press. We're just gonna retitle this press. Okay, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and delete all of this because we don't need it. We can do as featured in. So we're gonna drag that up. We're gonna add these images again and scale them to size as well. Okay, so I like that. That's looking pretty good. And using pages, we're gonna go resume and then we're gonna add again some text. We're going to upload my resume as a PDF and embed that inside. So if we go to embed, then we have PDF viewer. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. And it's gonna be able to embed a PDF right inside the website, which is perfect. So we're gonna drag it down like this and we're gonna do add your PDF file, upload PDF, we're gonna do Sienna Santa resume. And we're gonna upload that, beautiful, add to page. And there we go, my resume as PDF directly in the website. And it can be downloaded, which is perfect. Make it the whole page, but just about that. There we go. We're gonna bring it down just a tad, like that, so that there's more spacing. I like it like that. Wonderful, okay. Let's preview this and see what it looks like. So we're gonna go preview, and there we go. There's me, and it's gonna go and do this little kind of fun scrolly thing in and out. There's the about, we love, the brands that I've worked with, follow me and my Instagram, and it links like directly to my Instagram and has my captions, which is so cool. And then work with me at the bottom, my contacts, and my email, and then we're gonna go to about, it links there, we're gonna go press, and it goes to as featured in, and then we're gonna go resume, and it goes there, and we can download my resume straight from there, so employers can do that. And we're gonna go contact, which is gonna go all the way to the bottom there, and, and then my socials, and look at that. We made a website, woo, we've got my personal website. 
So I will probably continue to add to this and update with brands that I have worked with, with um, press that I have been in. So when some of my new articles come out, I'm going to be featured in another Business Insider article as well as in the Google blog and YouTube blog, which is really exciting. So I hope this showed you guys how to make a really professional website in only a matter of minutes. I'm really excited and happy with mine, how it turned out. It was actually really creative and fun. Like I love creating stuff like this. So I hope you guys enjoy making your own as well. And I can't wait to link to my website now whenever I go to apply for jobs. Um, you know, you can put it in the link section in your Instagram bio. It's just something really fun and cool and professional to have. Even if you're not, you know, a YouTuber like me, or you want to link to maybe some of your art or your writing or branding or marketing design that you do, really anything. Having a website, no matter what you do, is just a really great way to show that you are a professional and to showcase your work so that people can find it and know what you do. It's very much like a digital resume and as someone who lives their life very much online and who has a big digital presence, having a website was always an inevitable for me, but I think anybody can get a lot of use out of it. And no matter what you do, I think it's a great way to get your name out there. So yeah, that's it for today's video. I hope this helped you and inspired you. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please link your websites if you end up making them in the comments and we can all go check them out and help each other. I can't wait to see what you guys make. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you all. See you in my next video. Bye. Thank you.